Hello and welcome to Rick's Kits. This is the start of my um, small spell group build hosted by BG at Model Workshop and Sean on the Scale Model Car Guy channel. I will be doing a Gun Senyu kit. The Cadillac D9 Eldorado Seville, 130 second scale. Let's have a look, see what's in the box, see what we've got to play with, and then we'll crack on. Box art's really nice. I'll probably be doing it in the yellow colour. So there's the destructions. And here's, uh, here's the car, it's tiny. It's off, hanging off it already. Okay. Um, not sure about those. Steering wheel. No idea what that is. No, got the gear neither. There's the windshield. That's not good. Put your lights. Tiny, tiny little bullet lights. Four rubber tyres, cutter pins, rear rod. Uh -huh. Rag top or convertible top. Lots of chrome, and well, it's got a continental kit. And a telephone, public call box telephone, aerial. I assume that's for the telephone. I'm um, not sure we'd be adding that. Oh, that's a hard top. Well, because it's got the rear window. Oh, okay. oh I see the wet I see. Oh, I see the pieces. That's all right. More chrome front and rear bumpers. Two lots of um, wheels, wire wheels, and. Uh, Standard Cadillac wheels and the decals are in the bag. Um, they look a bit roached. They're uh, all creased up and stuff, so likely it is I'm not going to be using those. I s I'll see if I can try and save the El Dorado decal that's there, but the rest of them they're all wrinkled up and they look a bit trashy. Right, so let's have a look. Hold it the right way up. Put the dashboard. Already see. But it does have all the numbers in there for the mile an hour. This is a second hand kit, that's why most of the bits are in pieces. There's your door cards. They're not quite tiny, aren't they? That's the main uh, uh -huh. seat. Not a tough fix to get that in there, doesn't it? Upside down? I don't know. Who knows? <clears throat> Get out of it. Reboot. The all in one chassis. I think this was a wired kit at one point by the look of it. That's probably what those bits were on there. Those bits here, 
like a small battery box or something but that in there yeah because there's the original motor mount so this was a tiny little wired kit interesting um looks fairly detailed on the bottom right so i'll see where the switch came through to turn it on and off i'm not going to feel that i don't need to need to feel that don't do much with that under there there's the front glass which should have been on there but hey ho lucky really considering there's a loose um staple in here all the windshields all scratched up can catch any of that in there you can just about see it there all scratched up so i'll have to try and um, rescue that and then last of all we've got the body Can't see any visible parting lines, as we seem to call them. I would call them mold lines. Just in there and there. Apart from that. Fairly clean kit. Let's have a look through the uh, instructions. Not many parts of this kit. Um, very, very small amount of parts. So, we have uh, paint call outs. We've got to paint the white on the wire. Well, no, we won't put it in to do that. We've got, a, oh, we've got three body colours showing up here. We've got yellow and a yellow top, white with a white top, black with a black top. Okay, well, I'm going to do a yellow with a white top. So the interior going on. It's nice to read Japanese and know what's going on. But this looks like it's all the after after parks continental kits going on there okay you can have normal level wheels or you can have nose down wheels the you have a low rider in the front, and look at it. Both different types of wheels going on. Missed all that. Nose, normal level, nose down. Looking at the instructions and not paying attention to what I was doing here. Sorry about that. Front bumpers going on. Not sure why they've highlighted that. And well, these are already on. So the person who had this before already started it and then put it back in the box. Yeah, so there's not a lot to it. Potentially finished in two days, maybe. There you go, that's what we got. That's what we got. So, without further ado, stick all this back in the box. I will sort out some yellow paint. Get the lower halves of the chassis and that done for this kit. Looks like a fairly detailed kit. 
and uh, we'll crack on. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye for now.